name is Crystal. I'm here with Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm Rex. Hi. Rex. And they're from the band Down. Down in the same band. Down. Right. <laughs> Better be. <laughs> yeah. All right. <coughs> so I want to ask you guys. Um. How'd you guys decide on the name? Oh, uh, that was a long time ago. Um, that we could, we had the name before we had the band. It just we thought it would be cool to name a band Down, you know. Uh -huh. Not like down with it, bro, but just you know down. Cool, cool. Right. <laughs> and uh, how did Down form? How long have you guys been together? Oh, we've been together since '95, and. Um, and I get I joined yesterday. Yeah, we just got Rex. He's pretty yeah. young. <laughs> <laughs> He's working I've been around here. since '99, and we put out uh, put out a record in 2002, and then from there, it took us about five years to get this this thing going, and uh, we're fucking seizing America, and uh, gonna seize the world here shortly. Yeah. So how many uh, releases did you guys put out? We have three. We just three? put our third release out three in releases. September. Cool, cool. Um, what do you want your fans to know about your latest release? It's heavy as hell, and we're back for one, and because we took and like here, a, here, took here a little break, you know. Here it is. You need you need to go buy the fucking thing. Open it up. Roll your big fatty, put yeah. your headphones on, read the lyrics like they used to do in the good old days because that's what the record was meant to be. It's a record of music. It's not one track off of iTunes. It's a full record, yeah. and that's the way we want to present that thing. Just like, you know, you'll see a show. You don't go to a show to see one song. You go to see the whole goddamn show. So that's what Down's all about, and it's also about the interaction between the fans and the band. Awesome, awesome. Can I ask you a question? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who were your musical influences growing up? Jimmy Bauer. Uh, we were both. <laughs> uh, well, I'd say like, for down or for personally? Personally. Uh, uh, obviously Kiss. You know, we grew up when Kiss was big and and uh, got into metal and then. You know, like Judas Priest and Iron Maiden and stuff like that, oh, yeah. and then, then uh, slowly started getting into like the underground and stuff like that, and Black Flag and, you know, everything. Yeah, like, basically, you know, we like just old '70s guitar rock, prog rock, and you know '70s '70s rock and then prog rock and then you know yeah. whatever you listen to different things that come in, you know, like the new new wave of British bands that came through that. It was underground and popular, and then, and then your fuck the punk invasion of early, you know, late seventies, you know, early early eighties, um, and then we just you kind of start influencing yourself because you you're playing all this different style of music, and so it becomes your own, you know. So that's where the band kind of comes from, and also we take a lot of pride in being from the south, and um, and taking elements of the southern blues and 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 uh and jazz and all that mixed together the gumbo you know right right make a good root stir up that pot <laughs> uh what song <laughs> would you say gets the crowd moving You're just pumped up uh i'd like to but, think all of them but but uh i don't know the last show was was not in OD. Yeah, the crowd yeah. went crazy on that that's, song. That's a new song off our record, and it just really works live, really good. You know, really cool. Yeah, it's got a good swing. But all to the it. songs are pretty much the same. I mean, like some of the older ones off the first record really have a lot of response to them. Stone the Crow for sure, and um, Lifer. Lifer has a lot of. A lot of cool shit. So every night we're trying to change up the set where it's not the same stuff ever, so we don't bore the fuck out of ourselves, you know? Right. Which um, is easy to do, you know, if you're on the road to 300 years. It becomes you know, a regiment, and you. you don't want it to, you don't want to put across live that you're doing a regiment, you know? So, right. so we don't shoot lasers out of our ass or anything not, like that, so. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about <laughs> fire and shit, but um, that was a show. 
elements. No, but anyway, it, it's just we get up and jam, you know, and and, and uh, the interaction between the fans and the and, and the band that's what really makes it. So, um, what's your favorite song to play live? Personally, you and you. What's your favorite song? It ain't Stone the Crow, but um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, right now, anything off of the new record right now for me is great because we've been, you know, um, we've been playing these other songs that that are that we've been playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. So mm -hmm. the new stuff is is more to me invigorating to play, and uh, and still all the old ones. I mean, everything's it's cool, but I like playing the new ones because. They're starting to develop their own kind of chemistry right. live right. because basically once you get out of a studio, it's like you're in this controlled environment and it, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. But when you get it out there on the road and you actually see the interaction, you can tell which songs are going to fucking work and which aren't. So we try to, you know, for me, it's playing the new songs. Awesome. What would you say? I agree. Like, like, like you were saying, the song Nod really works good and three suns and one star is really fun uh on march of saints up tempo asshole Hell yeah. and uh bury me in smoke like some of our old songs are you know definitely fun we always close with bury me in smoke so awesome awesome so um what's a must-have for you guys backstage a must-have yeah uh ice water bathroom facilities Something to eat. Some chicks. Some chicks in school. That makes okay. it cool. Why are you going to come <laughs> hang out backstage? Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Rebel right. Action. Yeah. Yeah. Home, bro. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, do you want, what do you guys want to say to all the as aspiring musicians? Let me say that again. What do you guys want to say to all the aspiring musicians out there that want to be in your shoes someday? That... The only thing these days in the industry is perseverance is the only word I can come up with. Stick to your guns. Because old dicked off, and you really have to stick with your guns a lot more than, well, you know, I've been in a big band before, and it didn't take, we weren't overnight sensations, you know, and it took a lot of perseverance, and it finally paid off, and then once that, you get your foot in the door, that's really when the work starts, you know. Um... You just have to stick to your guns. Either you want to do it or you don't. And you'll know if you got one, one guy that wants to hang out with his chick all night, he ain't the dude for you, man. Right. Get rid of his ass. You see, you, you, like he said, you just you have to put a lot of time into it. And, and, you know, like he said as well, if you're a true musician, you're going to do what it takes to be a musician. And if you're just a dude who wants to wear cool shirts and think he gets chicks and shit, then you're not going to worry. It's not going to work, man. It's called life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lifers. Life there you Lifer. go. There RX, you bro. <laughs> Gotta get the RX. RX in there. Aye! Fuck yeah. All right. So, uh, what's in the future for Down? Uh, hopefully, uh, taking over the world. And uh, now we're just, we had a lot of touring to do because obviously a new record just came out. So we're going to be pretty busy on the road for, I'd say, probably a good year and a half, two years. And then after that, hopefully back in the studio again, you know. We just like to jam, and, and as long as we can continue this, got five happy people. And we have a ton of other stuff that when we do take a little bit of breaks that we'll have to do because touring for two years is pretty extensive, and we're getting younger by the second. And right. um, so when we do have these little breaks, we'll put out little things that keep the fans fucking interested in it so it won't be any, any five-year-long break in between stuff you know so um basically i you know i want to hit every country that we we've never been to before and and uh but just pace ourselves and make it make it uh a good show and not and not really kill ourselves we don't have to do that anymore you know where before you would go out and you know 300 dates in a year and you're right. five man the kids and it's not worth the show because you can tell when somebody's burn out their gourd <laughs> but so basically just touring different places that we hadn't played before and then we've got some big news coming up in december so i ain't gonna tell you shit so you're just gonna have to check it out yeah so uh if you haven't seen them in your town 
wait for them. They're coming to you. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, girl. Yeah. You're getting on fire now. And um. You little mallet. <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> what do you want to say to all your fans out there on Rebel Access? Just come to the show. Uh, spread the spread the message, man. Spread the word. And uh, you know, grab a T-shirt if you want to on that way out. <laughs> yeah. I'm just uh, thank you for thank you for being in the band and thank you for. Being you and stay heavy. Smoke weed. Check it out. <laughs> this is Dave Lombardi.